Hello, what's going on guys? Hockey Guy one here. Welcome to my review of Beneath the Planet of the Apes. So Beneath the Planet of the Apes is directed by Ted Post and stars James Franciscius, Jim Hunter, Maurice Evans, Linda Harrison, and Charlton Heston. So the story starts right where the last mo where the first movie left off. And as Taylor and Nova find the Statue of Liberty free, and and then a guy named Brent Brent came out here down to to find find Taylor and crash land, and as well being the only survivor on his ship, and yeah, that's the basic story, which pretty bad. But actually, it's not the only part of the story. There's also there's also a story where they find an underground city in the underground city. And it, it just doesn't make any sense at all. Like honestly, honestly, like I don't like that concept at all. Like making there be an underground city, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, the first act of the movie, I mean, I wasn't really a big fan of it. It was fine. There's just not much to it. The second act... Well, the second act is... Usually, the, my favorite part of the story, I mean... And it's interesting. Interesting, and... It actually... Really moves the plot pretty well. And I... And I, and I was... Definitely love it. And, but the third act of the movie, oh my god, was it awful. I mean, they just rushed it. It looked very rushed, and they just, ju they just lazily kill off, kill off most of the main characters. Which, are, which spoiler alert, you're gonna see that as a trend in all, in all the sequels of this, mo of these movies. And, yeah. And just... Lazy killing off the main characters like that it didn't make any sense. Since and yeah, that's basically it about it. I mean, it doesn't make any sense as well as the climax. That's that's where it mainly happens. It just lazily kills off the characters and well, well Taylor pressing the button to, that destroys the entire planet. And it just it doesn't make any sense. Like I keep saying. As for the characters, Brent is is the main protagonist in this movie, which I don't really like that. Like that, I'd, I mean, I'm not really a fan of his character. I mean, there's just nothing interesting about him, and and I mean, I much prefer Ta definitely prefer Taylor uh, if he was the main protagonist. This movie definitely would have been much better for me, and no. Nova has a bigger role, just not really much to her character like the first one. Just a love, just a love interest for Taylor and Brian. Just basically nothing. Well, Taylor though, he was just wasted. He came from being the main protagonist to not even showing up until the third act and being killed off. Which I guess makes sense because Charlton Heston didn't really want want to come back, but. I still didn't like that. I wish they had him on, at least had him have a bigger role in this movie rather than just showing up in the third act. Third act, and it just doesn't make any sense. Though the main, the main antagonist in this movie, I mean, I don't even remember his name. He's just terrible. There's nothing to him. And then there's also Doctor Zayas, who, who was, who was the main antagonist of the first movie. Movie here, he's just—he just doesn't really serve a purpose to the plot. To be honest, he's just there because because he's was in the first movie. I mean, he's he's interesting, but he's just too there. I mean, the pacing in this movie was just—I mean, it was completely underwhelming for the most part. I mean, I mean, they didn't really. I mean, they didn't really try with these Planet of the Apes sequels, but there are definitely some good things about it. 
Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, but it does drag a lot out, so basically it's just decent. And all the actors did a fine job in their role. I mean, they didn't do awful. Awful. I mean, Charlton Heston. Heston was. I mean, he. She didn't really want to be there, but once again, like his character was wasted potential. He didn't really get to act that much, and all the actors did the best they could, I'd say. And there's the costume designs. I mean. I mean, they're the same costumes they used in the first movie, so they look they look great. Overall, Beneath the Planet of the Apes was an okay movie. I mean, I mean, it, it wasn't anything special. I mean, the second the second act completely saved the mo movie. Without it, it would have been a completely just garbage movie. Movie if they did anything else for the second act, and. And yeah, that's really all I can say about this one. I mean, and I'm gonna give Beneath the Planet of the Apes a 5 out of 10. That was my review of Beneath the Planet of the Apes. What are your thoughts on Beneath the Planet of the Apes? Tell me in the comments below, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.